today we're going to be going over half clinch, one arm clinch or dirty boxing clinch, all of which are exactly the same technique. It's an extremely useful technique, especially against strikers. However, there are so many escapes and counters from it. If you're going to be using dirty boxing clinch or half clinch, you've got to know what they are. Otherwise, it's going to be used against you. So the dirty boxing clinch is essentially, like, instead of a full clinch being here, Half clinch goes on this side. It's extremely useful if you can pull the head down, keep the elbow in, and keep throwing shots into the chin, into the ribs. Uh, in MMA, extremely useful. In Muay Thai, extremely useful. However, what you'll find is that if you don't get your elbow in the right position, half clinch will be used against you. Is how if you if somebody gets the uh, clinch set up, so they throw a jab and across, and then they just set up the clinch right here. If the elbow's too far in, I'm going to be able to push that in in order to get this position. It's a simple Udigarami, straight out of traditional Jiu Jitsu, and then I take it down, I can start going for my grappling straight after this. What I then have is if the elbow is too far out to the side, this is the most common mistake. Um, some people keep the elbow out so that it can fit in the punches, so that more, more, more punches come in, but this is, if this elbow is too high, I'm going to take that next punch out to the side, take that underhook and march straight through into an Ogoshi position, sink my hips, lift him up, and he's going over. So one more time. Go one, two, here he's throwing these punches in. I'm going to try and take control of one of them. If the elbow's too high up, if the elbow's in, I can't push forward at all. If the elbow's too high up, I can actually sink through here. To sink my hips and go for a gushy. Okay, the last thing that you need to be wary of if you're getting somebody in a half clinch is an accidental armbar. Now, it's not an armbar that people regularly give you, but most people don't make this mistake in half clinch. The half clinch is on, so there it is. They usually don't stay that far away. They want to get in close, they want to keep that elbow up against my shoulder so that I can't push in. If they keep it extended all the way out, it's a simple armbar from there. So I trap the hand, I just lift, and that's an armbar waiting to happen. Straight off that, I can start throwing in some wide shots, start using my legs. That's goodbye to their ribs, goodbye to their face. So that's a big mistake. If you're ever using half clinch, make sure that you get it at the right distance. Anything closer, you may as well take clinch. Anything further away, you're going to lose your arm. Thank <laughs> you.